You might make templates for fun, to drive leads for another offering, or any other number of good reasons, but sometimes you want to sell your creation. In this lesson, we'll dive into the world of paid templates and talk about features that contribute to a user's willingness to pay for your digital product and show you how to configure marketplace payments. Let's start with the most important question. Should you charge money for your Notion template? In short, it depends. In general, customers are more likely to pay for something if it saves them time, money, or effort. In Notion, this translates to certain features that make a template more valuable. We've covered these before, but as a reminder, features that can add value to a template include formulas, automations, integrations and embeds, charts, forms, buttons, AI blocks, scalability, and educational components such as guides, videos, callouts, or customer support that make it easier for people to start using your template. Of course, each of these features requires time and effort to develop. It follows that as you increase both the quality and quantity of advanced features, and as you integrate them into your template's overall design, the more you can reasonably charge for your work. I went through this period of self-doubt myself before I launched my template. I knew I was going to launch it. So it wasn't like, oh, I'm afraid to launch it. What if it does no sales? I already had that part of my head locked down. If it does no sales, no harm, no foul. Ultimately, it's up to you to determine whether or not you want to charge money for your templates. Once you decide, the next natural question is, how much money should a template cost? Again, it depends. As of the time of filming this video, the majority of paid templates are in the $5 to $20 range, but really high quality templates, especially those that come with support, are closer to $100. At the end of the day, it's your business. Price your template according to what feels fair for the work you've done and the value your customer receives, and adjust the pricing over time to reflect any changes you make. My tip is try, test. It's depending a lot for me in my experience. Is in my experience, it's depending a lot of the audience. It's not the same if you're targeting, for example, an academic. We are famous to attend seminars just for the free food. So, yes, <laughs> yeah, it is true. So we don't really spend a lot of money unless it's really necessary. So, if I'm testing products from for academics and I was testing my prices, normally. If I increase them too much, they don't convert. But some other, when I'm targeting some other audiences, then perhaps increasing the price is seen as more value and normally converts better. So then I don't have an answer. Is that you need to test. I mean, it doesn't hurt. The worst thing is that you will see a decrease in conversion, then you just D d reverse it, uh, and that's it. Before moving on, let's explore some real-world examples to give you a better idea of what successful paid templates look like in the marketplace. To view top duplicated paid templates, you can navigate to a category in the marketplace and filter for only paid templates, then sort by most duplicated. This is a great way to do some quick market research on how other creators are pricing their templates. As you can see, these templates are filled with high-value features. They're robust, aesthetically pleasing, highly targeted, and easy to use. Of the more expensive options here, many come with educational components like support and access to a community. Once you've decided how much to charge for a template, you'll just need to set up payments in Marketplace by simply verifying your creator profile in Stripe and adding a price to your template listing. With these best practices in mind, let's walk through what it would look like to become a verified creator and add paid templates to a profile. To sell templates, you need to become a verified template creator. We can do this by heading to our creator profile, scrolling to sell with Notion, and clicking here to begin the process. This whole thing will happen in Stripe. It's where you'll have a chance to add your business details, banking information, and more. Once verified, you're free to sell. You'll add your actual template price when submitting your template listing. All you need to do is toggle the paid template option here. As you might expect, turning this on lets you set the price for your template. Notion's Marketplace gives you two options, sell your template directly through Notion or via another platform. We'll focus on the former today. To set a price and sell on Notion, simply enter the amount here. If you're using other platforms, you'll also need to include the purchase URL for that third-party tool. Optionally, when you sell a paid template, you'll also be able to enable access locking, which is a feature that restricts what customers can do with paid templates. By keeping this as restricted, you will limit customers from sharing your template with others, therefore protecting your IP. That's really all it takes. Like everything else in the marketplace, the Notion team will review your paid template listings before they go live. Once everything else here is filled out, submit for review and that's it, you're done. You now have the knowledge to set up payments and price your templates competitively. Remember, pricing is an art as much as it's a science. Don't be afraid to experiment and adjust your prices based on the feedback and demand you receive. 
In our next lesson, Rachel will dive into strategies for growing your template business. She'll explore how to leverage reviews, understand analytics, and more. As for me, I'll see you in the community once you've uploaded your first template.